Hey guys, so, pardon my linty shirt, it's got some lint on it, but it is St. Patrick's Day, so happy the, the thanks Patrick's Day, Thanksgiving Patrick's Day, I don't know what I'm going for with that, but happy St. Patrick's Day, so if you guys don't really celebrate it where you live, um, where I'm from, we celebrate it, like, crazy, oh my god, there's so many, like, drunk people out tonight, there was a girl walking down the street, and she wasn't wearing pants, like, put on some pants, that's not cool, but, <laughs> So the point of this video, I'm doing a huge haul video. It's like ginormous. So I'm not gonna make this intro very long. But I went to the mall yesterday, which is Friday night, and it's Saturday night. It is. If you're wondering, because I bet you are, it's 10:11 right now. So let's just jump right in. So the first place I went to is Bath and Body Works. I'm getting text messages. I'm so popular, obviously. But I got three of the hand sanitizers because I was running out of mine, which is in the flavor cupcakes, which is strawberry. This one is tropical berries, which is my favorite. These were all a dollar fifty, but I think a lot of people who shop there would already know this. This one was is I love shopping and it smells peachy. And this one is I love cake and this is a frosting smell. And they all smell really, really good. This one is a little bit sweeter than the other cupcake one I have, so I don't know if I really like that about it as much, but what are you gonna do? And I also got for I think three dollars this was um this little thing so I can attach one to my purse or my backpack to keep my hands sanitized. And the last thing I got from Bath and Body Works was a lotion because this is the best smell I think that they have. So if you're asking me for my opinion, I would tell you this one. Um, this is the Be Enchanted and this is the body lotion with vitamin E, jojoba, and shea butter. And this is from the Signature Collection. So this um, will be available for forever unless they change up the signature collection which would kind of be pointless because then it wouldn't be signature <clears throat> that just fell and this is was five dollars but this is the smaller size of it um there is bigger size which i think is like eleven dollars or ten dollars i don't even know then from sephora i got one thing yeah one thing and it is this nail polish which i've been wanting for forever um i have a swatch but i don't want to get it down because it's like on my wall right there and this is sugar plum fairies gone wild and it's this gorgeous sparkly purple top coat, which I have on this nail, but really, really bad. I, like, was peeling at my nails all night because I wanted to repaint them with a new nail polish that I will show you later. But I'm not going to paint it with this one because I let my friend borrow a purple nail polish that I want to put under this, which is lighter. So it'll kind of be, like, a really cool purpley look to it. And this was $9, I think, but it came out to, like, the tax, like, $11, which, I don't know, but whatever. Then from Forever 21, I did some uh, spring accessories shopping and also another nail polish. I've been looking for a light orange nail polish. Like, I have a bucket list because, like, it's kind of like a trend, like, to do a bucket list between, like, me and, like, two of my friends. So we made, like, bucket lists and I was like, I'm seriously, like, that weird. I'm going to put getting light orange nail polish on my bucket list. So I was like, hey, let's get this one. It was 280 The color is actually called light orange and it's just this gorgeous color. And that comes up really, really good on camera. I like that. So this is 280 and this is from the Love and Beauty, which is their Forever 21 uh, cosmetics line. And gorgeous. Gonna put that on. Then I got this necklace, which is really gorgeous. Um, this was around $6. I forget how much um, it was because the tag is gone now. This is a little tangled over here. but It's just like gold with black beading. And yeah, it's really pretty chain. The next... Thing I got these were 380 I believe and these are like little pendant earrings it's missing a stud right there I know um, and they're just pink uh, like a shiny stone looking and then they have little fake diamonds around the, soft, the centeriness and this is sliding again then for a dollar fifty I got these which are just little cute bedazzled anchors And then, also for 380 I got these ones, which I think might be my favorites. They're little gems with, um, kind of like bedazzled, spiky-looking bows. On top. These were 380 So that is all I got from Forever 21. I just wanted to get a couple, uh, spring accessories, like earrings and stuff, because I am a big, like, earring loser. A lot of the companies where I get my earrings, though, they do send them back to you, but I always love to get, like, new earrings. Ooh and stuff for spring because I am crazy and I like to go shopping for things like that. Then the stuff that I think you guys will find most exciting because a lot of you might be like makeup people because it, my channel is Forever Makeup 2011. I went to um, the Chanel counter inside of Nordstrom's in the matte counter. I got this eyeliner which is the Ch Chanel Intense Eye Pencil in Ombre. Um, 
it is on my eyelids right now. And it kind of is going a little bit under and on top into a kind of a flared thing that you can barely see because it is worn off over there. But I will re-swatch this. That is this one, obviously not the green one. It's like a brownish color, a really dark, pretty brown. And it is gorgeous, and I'm going to wear this every day for the rest of my life. Just saying. Then it came with this really cute sharpener, which I think is really awesome because, like, it comes with its own little sharpener. And this sharpens it perfectly. Like, this is the best sharpener ever. You would think maybe, um, like, it wouldn't be, but it is seriously, like, a really good sharpener. It has, like, this weird thingy inside. What is this? I, I don't know what that is. It like snaps in. I don't know. Whatever, but this is a really good sharpener. So if you're in the eyeliners, don't throw away the whole box until you take out the pencil sharpener. Because I almost did that. Then from MAC, I'm super excited because I only usually get like one thing when I go to MAC because everything is so expensive. Um, yeah, I'm just like you guys. I have a hard time buying stuff like this too. So I literally saved up for like four months. Like I know I've had other mini hauls, but like that was like more drugstore things, but I've saved up since, like, Christmas, like, for a shopping trip like this. I have a little safe, and I keep money in it. I'm just obsessed, but. So I got this, which is from the Cook Mac collection, and I'm so excited because this is my first thing from a collection. So, this is a Tender Tone, which I've heard so much good stuff about it, and it has, it's just a lip balm, if you don't know, and this is, has SPF 12 in it. And look at the packaging. I kept the packaging. I've already used this, but I just want to put the packaging on to show. And it's got this really cool other packaging that has, like, MAC imprint. And the one I got is Hush Hush, which I think is my favorite. And I think it was sweet because this was the last tender tone they had. Um, so this is Hush Hush. Oh, my God. Just look at that. And it comes on, like, a nice sheer color. And it just smells so good. It smells like strawberry kiwi. But, like, not like a weird, like, um, ch like, chapstick, like, smackers, lip, lip smackers, whatever that, like, kind of cheap chapstick brand is. Like, it's just, like, amazing. I, it's like you want to eat it. Now, since I'm running out of time, I'm going to show you this mascara um, I got, which is the Opulash Mascara in Bad Bad Black. And it is just a volumizing mascara, which is seriously volumizing. Look at my eyelashes. So pretty. But this is just the brush, if you were wondering. And it's really, really nice. And I don't really like to spend quite a bit of money on a um, non drugstore mascara because they like die so quickly. But this one was only like 15 bucks, so I was like, you know what? Got some money left over. Let's just go for it. I also got a lipstick, which is my first MAC lipstick. So this is my first MAC Tender Tone, like lip products, like here. Um, I've never gotten a, a MAC lip balm sort of thing before, even like the lipstick form bombed bombs and I've never gotten an eye product like an eye product besides eyeshadow from them and I've never gotten a lipstick so this has been like a really really good shopping trip for me. So the one I got I've already opened but I put it back in the packaging because it's so exciting for me. Um this is in this is a cream sheen and this is in cream cup. Look at the packaging it just looks like like a bullet torpedo thing. I don't know what I'm talking about. It's like I'm really tired and it's only like ten nineteen. I don't know, but this is a cream cup, and it's this pink color here, and it's really like a nude pink. It's a little more gray-based than it's showing on camera, um, but definitely um, go on the website if you are in Ooh, this is sliding again. But if you are interested in this color, go check the website because their swatch is actually pretty true to the color of this. So this is, once again, cream cup, and this was like $14.50. This was $18, and the mascara, I think, was like $15 or $16 or $14 or... Well, something teen. I have no idea. So that is the end of my haul video. I was super excited to come home and film this for you guys. Like, I literally was like, what's something like, I want to get stuff that I want, but I want to get stuff that's interesting to you guys. So I hope that I did that. Um, did that make sense? I hope that I did. I hope that I did that. Yeah, it sounded weird in my head because I don't know what I'm talking about. But I hope that you guys enjoyed this haul video. Um, I kind of want to do an update in this video, but I don't really have time because my iPad only lets me post things on YouTube that are 10 minutes long. And I'm running out of time. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Remember to subscribe. Give it, th give it a thumbs up if you love shopping or any of the products I mentioned in this video or if there's anything you want to try. Comment with any questions or video requests. And I will talk to you guys really soon. Bye, guys. <laughs>